All right, you guys, we have a really hard study link together to do together. So I'm sorry if I had known it was this hard, I probably wouldn't have sent it home. But it's good for us, and it's similar to what we did in class today, only on a harder scale. Trying to make it easier for us, I said that our median step length was 12 inches and that our steps per minute were 90. So those are rough estimates. Um, let's read the directions. A group of fifth graders in New Zealand are going camping and they will hike from Wellington to Romp Rompahu. I'm not sure how you say that. And then they will follow the trail another half mile to their campsite. Use the map on this page. The scale is one inch equals 400 miles, as well as your class median step length and the number of steps in a minute to make the following estimates. A reminder, one mile equals 500 5,280 inches. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is do some measuring. We need to measure from Wellington to this name that starts with an R that I can't pronounce. You're going to need a ruler. Pause now if you need to go grab one. All right, and we're measuring in inches, so make sure you're on the inches side. Measuring. Okay, so if you're measuring, you can see that it is slightly less than a half inch. A half inch is 200, so we'll say it's somewhere in between if you look closely. And let's do a rough estimate. Let's say it's about 150 miles. And now it says about how many miles is it from um, Wellington to the campsite? Well, if you remember, we are going to go an extra half mile. So again, we'll do a rough estimate and we'll make it 151 miles. And now it says about how long would it take the students to arrive at their campsite if they don't make any stops? They're walking. This is a long way to walk, 151 miles. So we need to do some multiplying and some dividing. In this case, you can use a calculator if you want to. Pause now if you need to go get it. Okay, so first thing we needed to know was 90 steps in a minute and the other thing we need to know is 12 inches is the same as one foot. I picked that one on purpose to make it a little bit easier for us and so if we're going this many miles then we know it will be that many steps so we are going to actually walk 52,000 5,280 steps for one mile but we need to walk 151 miles. So get your calculator handy and do 5,280 times 151. You're going to get a big number. Ready for it? 797,280. If you didn't get that number, try it again in your calculator. Hopefully I got the right number. Now the next part, that's how many steps we have to take, but now the next part is asking how many steps we can take in a minute. And we estimated that it's about 90, so we're going to divide it by 90. And if we do that, we can figure out that it is about 8,858 minutes to get there. Well, that's a lot of minutes. So let's think again, how many minutes are in an hour, so we can figure hours. About 60. So <clears throat> we'll divide by 60. And if you do, on your calculator, you should get 147.6. Uh, it says about how long would it take the students to arrive at their campsite if they don't make any stops. So it would be about 147 point six minutes. Well, that was minutes, so that would be hours now. All right, and then it says each day the students will hike 12 hours and take 12 hours for stops to eat, rest, and sleep. If they leave at 7 a.m. on a Monday morning, about what time um, at about what time and what day would you expect them to arrive at their campsite? Well, first off, we need to figure out how many days this is going to take if they walked that many. So let's divide it by 24. And if we do that, we will find out it takes about six days. 
which is crazy because they would be walking all day and all night. So we need to make some stops in there. <coughs> it says that they will hike for 12 hours and then they will take 12 hours for stops. So thinking if it takes six days, if they went 24 hours, 24 hours a day, uh, what would it be if they only took 12? So we need to double that because um, it's 24. So it would take about 12 days. I don't know if that sounds fun or not. Okay, and then the next one, the try this. Try it if you want to, but I find this one really hard. Give it a good try if you want. Next one, we're just going to be practicing. Anytime there's a try this, by the way, that's optional. Practice is never optional. So here we go with our multiplication. 48 times 15. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry your 4. 4 times 5 is 20 plus another 4 is 24. 0. Cross these out. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. Add them up. Oops, I wrote it wrong. 720. Glad you are using pencil. This one we're just straight adding. Be careful to write them down correctly. Easy to make that mistake when you've got so many digits. All right, let's add straight down. And I got 90,361. <clears throat> 36 divided by 3. Maybe you just know this, but if you don't, we can do it the other way. And you find out it is 12. And then this one, I like to just stack it up this way so I don't have to rewrite everything. And you get 18. I'm just going to double check the answer on this, make sure I'm right. 90,361. We did it right. Thanks for working with me today.